Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday where we sail the Sunless Sea with me, Arden, and Captain Jewel. Or should I say Madam Jewel, she doesn't like the moniker Captain. Now we just returned back to London, so um, let's see what we've got here. They leave scuff marks, blah blah blah, okay, it's fine. Collect their messages. Hey, we now have another day of free, okay. Okay, now um, let's see where we were because um, generally when we come back to London, that's the end of my session. And when we start again from here, it's um, the beginning of a new session. So I'm always a little bit uh, behind on where we were. So the, the Canate is threatening war. They always are. London colonies on the Canadian coast want independence. They always do. Gentry Z, the paper support, has undergone another alteration. Not yet it hasn't, you'd know. Oh ho, a promotion coupon for Mrs. Plenty's provisioners for a half cask of salt herring. You could use that. Can I actually use it though? Well, I gained one supply, so I guess that's what the salt herring was for. Now we won't rest in our rooms yet. Let's go back to the rest of the city. Okay, I want to turn in any port reports that we got. So we've got Hunter's Keep. Okay, Brenderbite. Okay. Here's your payment. This is quite extraordinary. I must uh, rush this upstairs immediately. One moment. So we succeed in a veiled challenge. We no longer have the port reports for that. We gained 50 echoes, which is brilliant. Especially uh, given that, you know, we're basically starting over in terms of our um, echoes. And then we, um, a new accomplishment as well. We surveyed the Shepherd Isles, which is brilliant. Okay, then we've got um, Abbey Rock with the very welcoming um, sisters that live there. Kirkus Haven. Okay, and then I guess we're done there. Okay, now let's visit the university. Okay, and then the outlandish artifact can go as well. 100 echoes for that, that's brilliant. Okay, and then let's leave the university. I don't think we have anything for the rose market, but we'll check anyway. No, we don't. Okay. Then we're ne definitely not going near you. Gonna, um, avoid you as long as we can. The alarming scholar. I think we've done everything we can with you, yeah. Then let's go to our lodgings. Let's rest in our rooms. So 10... Um, echoes down but one terror and we got a wrestle night as well okay then next I want to um, let's check our journal two captains dead that's nice okay objectives So we have to go to the Iron and Misery Funging Station. Okay, someone not far from home waters. Okay. Bound for both the Cumian Canal and the Iron Funding Station, digging up 
Helmut Gallivant is on a mission. The board will forever alter, he says. Okay. So I, I have a bit better of an idea of where we're going to be going. So let's look at our map. So we haven't been that far down to the south. So we know that the um, Kumi Canal is going to be somewhere here. And it's possible the funding station is going to be somewhere in this area here. So I think that's what we're probably going to do is to head in that direction. So we need to stock up on um, supplies and fuel and not be nattering so much. So let's go. Um, let's go back to London. Okay, and then shops. Okay, so let's get some fuel. Let's get plenty of supplies. Okay, and then some more fuel. Okay, so that should be enough to at least venture down that way. So let's launch. and get ourselves moving. And while we're setting off, I'm gonna pour myself some nice tea. At the moment here in Japan now, it's uh, Sakura season. So uh, it's very beautiful and magical outside. And it's a bit of a contrast with the kind of the gloomy atmosphere um of the game but there is a kind of a magic to this game as well so at least those two parts kind of fit together and today in japan as well it's a bit of a gloomy day it kind of the weather is around this time of year it's kind of a, a bit unsettled and we don't get um like we're not gonna we're a few months away from the kind of the searing heat of the japanese summer um, and we're you know, a month or two past the kind of the, the cold of the Japanese winter as well. So we're kind of at, in an in-between stage here. So today it's, as I said, it's kind of a bit of a rainy, dull day. Um, on last Sunday, so today now is actually a Friday when I'm recording, but um, last Sunday we... Um, it was a nice sunny day, so we went to a local park for a, a hanami. Um, and a hanami is, is basically just looking at the sakura, but um, a lot of the time you do that uh, by having a bit of a picnic or a party with some friends. So we uh, made ourselves a bit of a picnic, got some beers, and went and enjoyed that very much. Now we're going to call in at Quaker's Haven. crashed into the rock there let's cut the engine and dock okay now what can we do we can explore the shore we don't want the wretched mug we can chat to the fishermen I think if this one stays, we're going to try that. Um, but I want to do the usual stuff of exploring the shore. Okay. As you prepare to go ashore, your first officer salutes captain for the crew intent to perform a concert on the seashore. You and I are both invited to attend. We'll definitely attend. I don't believe you know, even here it says you learn to play a harmonica up on the roofs of fallen London. Perhaps you can join in. Um, yeah, we may as well. Jewel show a bit more um, of a kind of, I suppose, a human side, seeing as she's a, a very kind of suspicious person uh, because of her um, her youth. 
So all of you together there on the doorstep of the deep, making your uncertain way through recent mahogany half hall favorites. It's a little bubble of cheery London light. There in the teeth of the night, you catch your cook's eye and grin. So we succeed in the heart's challenge, which is brilliant. When we lost three, three terror. Okay, and then let's go back to Quaker's Haven. Okay, so we don't get that one again. So I want to, um, the next time we come, I'm going to do that. Let's chat to the fisherman. And we got our port report. And then we're pretty much done here. So let's set sail. And we're going to head to the Cumian Canal first. So we know it's kind of in this general direction. Yeah, let's um, cut a bit more to the east. And this is the first time I'm playing this game on my um, new screen. So it certainly makes um, reading the text a bit easier for me because um, I've got poor ice, eyesight uh, and I've actually had, um, you know, not, not recently, but um, in the past, I've had uh, both of my corneas crafted, which is basically um, they use donor corneas um, and they grafted over your own because um, mine had become misshapen and they weren't reflecting light properly into my nerve or my, the center of, of my brain that kind of um, controls sight. It looks like we're getting close to the canal here. But yeah, it just means that it's difficult for me, um, you know, to read stuff if it's a bit, um, so some way to the southwest. Oh yeah, of course we want to go more west, not more east. Come here. Now I believe the um, the dock that we want isn't through the gates. I believe the gates are yeah, docks over here. Let's avoid the jellyfish if we can. Okay, we're almost in range to be able to cut the engines. I think about here. No, apparently not. I wildly overestimated how far we drift there. Okay, King Canal. Assisting Gnomic Galavant in an enterprise of dubious legality, brutal there are 10 individuals in a room, one of whom is an ancient tyrant. How can you distinguish him? Answer, burglarize a private library for a picture of him beforehand. Okay. Knowing the enemy, as dinner bells sound throughout the port, you carry a ladder to one of the long moored half legal ship hostels. You prop the ladder to the porthole of what the gallivant assures you is the cabin of a French diplomat. He ascends swiftly, leaving you to carry the ladder away. Half an hour later, the gallivant is back on your deck. He polishes his ruby cuffs. I have seen the face of eternity printed in ink. It was a terrible face. There is still one port left to visit. Okay, the gnomic gallivant now knows his target's face. Okay, now let's listen for some surface gossip. Okay, and let's get a port report. And then we're done here. So let's set off. Okay. So I think it's gonna take us maybe four um, fuel to get home. So I think when we're at about maybe four and a half, we're gonna strike out for home.
we send out our ZBAT to see what we can ZZZ. Okay, we don't really want to know about the Cumin Canal, we've just been there. But apparently we didn't discover it. Yeah, we didn't go close enough to discover it, I guess. Well, I'm not going to go back that. Like, the next time we have to go to that port, or we want to go to that port, I'll travel there to officially discover it. Blue lights crawl leisurely up the funnel, Saint Erasmus dancing, the cry goes up. Okay. Let's get our Z-Bat out again. Okay. Born Vadas Pillar. There are no islands. Okay. Stalag stalagmites loom in the distance like the cranes of wolf stacked docks, but vaster, vaster. The Corsairs uh, forest, our lookouts are watchful. Let's um, run. Oh, lucky there. Not so lucky the second time. Yeah, knew that was coming. And the third time. Okay, so we discovered Guider's Morn. Oh wow, he can launch over the rocks. Okay, that's nice to know. And he's almost killed us as well. Wow, that escalated quickly. So around by Eakin Rock. I'm not slowing down for a second for that guy now. Okay, so we found Guider's Morn, which is where the pirates hang out. We may as well pull in. Let's slow down seems we're not being chased anymore. But wow, look at that hull damage. Let's pull in here. Okay, well we'll do this one. F uh, actually, we'll gather intelligence first. You succeed in the Veiled Challenge. Okay, that's good. Gathers mourn, swarms of pirates, smugglers and captains of uncertain allegiance. You could learn a lot here, but you'll need to go carefully. The whisper is that the Canate Chimarans resupplied here last week, under a flag of careful truce. That implies something interesting about Canate fleet movements. The Admiralty would love to know. Okay, so hopefully that's going to be um, a decent amount for us. Okay, so we don't have enough echoes to do that one. That's fair enough. Let's explore the morn. There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape on the morn. It's vertical admittedly, but once you find the beast at uh, beast paths and urchin roads, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor with it, an additional tr throatful of lurching terror. Okay, let's um, flee. Not unscathed. One pulse pounding chase through this. So, the better part of valor is discretion. The better part of discretion is not falling off a high cliff into a rock fanged sea. One pulse pounding chase through the shanties of Guiders Moor. Later, you finally evade pursuit. You count heads, one short. Well, that at least evens up our crew. Okay, and then let's go back to the Morn. Okay, let's overhear rumors of the pirate poet. 
Some say she's a clay man who freed herself with the power of where possible. Others insist she's the personal muse of the king with the hundred hearts, unlikely. One claims she sails on a living ship made of the still screaming skulls of our victim. More sober voices mutter that no, it's just an alcaeus class vessel. Whatever the truth, the truth, truths, few have fought her and survived to tell the tale. Only the bravest of captains risk the lonely parts of the sea where her flag is said to fly. Okay, and that's just done there. So let's set sail and get ourselves home because we need to repair very quickly or Captain Jules stay with us is going to be very short. Okay, so there's Patrick's lot. Nice little lighthouse there. So we've got five fuel and 12 supplies. So we're gonna maybe cut across this way a bit. Cause I still want to try to find the funding company. Oh, but there's a boat there, which we want to avoid. Okay, nice distant bells there. Okay, now let's run. Let's run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Please don't die. Oh wow, it's going much faster than we are. I think we might be dead here. Let's try and evade at least. Quaker's Haven. Can we make it to port before we die? Oh, they actually left us alone. Wow. Okay, well, let's slow down then. And get ourselves into the Haven. That really scared me. Okay, Quaker's Haven, explore the shore. So I want to do, ah, it's not there anymore. The ritual isn't available, okay. Well, let's visit the hilltop then. You stand on the cliff top, looking over the island's village. Smoke from the chimneys of the cock and magpie drifts straight upwards. There's not a breeze to ruffle your hair nor to lift her collar. Below you, a young woman car carries what could be real flowers, handing them out with a courtesy to everyone she meets. Okay, we lost one tear, which is nice because we uh, gained a fair bit of it. Now let's head around this way because there's something lurking over to the west. Then we can uh, maybe have four fuel left. I think we need to head back to home. Hey, okay, the crawling stars. The lookout shouts. Far above the false star in the cavern roof are shifting. A rare and ominous event. What now? Eyes on the deck forbid them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but it's safer. Record the change and assign a name. If the new shape seems well omened, your crew may be cheered. Who knows? A matter of luck, it could go either way. Well, let's give it a go. Jewel does believe in a lot of luck, after all. A darkness. Three of the false stars wink out altogether, as suddenly as closed eyes. The pattern that remains is a hopeless and meaningless as cast dice. Somewhere a sailor begins to sob. Hey, you are unlucky, better luck next time, I'm getting too terror. Now, that thing's going to come for us, so let's just run. Ok, 
Okay, we avoided it the first time. Now it's going to come for us again. Okay, we avoided that time as well. So we're going to try a third time. Let's try and use the uh, Mutton Island to our advantage. Okay, so we've done one part of what we wanted to do, and that was we got to the, the um, Cumin Canal. We still have to find the funding station. So maybe if we head in a more easterly direction next time. Let's speed up again, because that guy is still interested in taking a bite out of us. Okay, and then we're almost home, so we should be fine. So looking at us in terms of fuel, we had just about enough for the journey that we undertook. And in terms of meals, we had uh, more than enough. So maybe a bit more fuel next time. Here we are back to London and that does bring us to the, let's just get into port first, that does bring us to the end of this particular video so if you have enjoyed please consider liking, subscribing and posting a comment and I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.